Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the dual brush settings work. Let's get started. The dual brush settings allow you to paint with one brush while using another brush as a sort of mask. I'm going to select a hard round brush in my brush palette here, and then I'm going to turn on the dual brush settings. For my secondary brush, I'm going to choose this watercolor brush that I have loaded. Now the default blend mode for dual brush is set to color burn, but you'll notice if I paint that you can't really tell that dual brush is even on. You'll typically want to set the mode to multiply when you're setting up your dual brush effect. You can see my watercolor brush is being used inside my hard round brush. So the hard round brush is acting as a sort of mask. Keep in mind that any brush you select within the dual brush settings will automatically be given an angle jitter. And there's nothing you can do about it, but that's the whole purpose of using a dual brush anyways. The flip checkbox will also flip your brush on the X and Y axis randomly on top of automatically rotating it. As I draw and paint, I notice that my watercolor brush spacing is a little bit too tight. It's also a little bit too big. So what I can do is come into my dual brush settings and decrease the size a bit and then increase my spacing, and now as I paint, you'll notice that I get a totally different look. You can also adjust the scatter and the count just like you would on your normal brush in the shape dynamics and scattering panels. If I decrease the size of my dual brush and turn the scattering off, you can more easily see how it works. You'll also notice if I paint in one continuous brush stroke, that certain areas of my brush will overlap with the previous areas that I've drawn on. If I make smaller, shorter brush strokes, you'll notice that this doesn't occur. It's a little tricky to get used to, but by starting with a hard, round brush, it makes things easier to see what's going on, and how changing the settings affects your overall brush. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.